rose on a red field. The White Wolf, the Butcher of Blaviken. Geralt gathered many sobriquets on his path, one of which was the colorful and, I dare say, apt appellation of Puss Peepers. This he gained during his adventure with Olgird, when a cheeky young woman in Olgird's company pinned him as the man best able to track down the scoundrel who killed her friend, Clivert. Clivert had indeed been killed. Though much time had passed since the murder, the Witcher hoped he could still find enough evidence to establish who was responsible. It turned out Clivert's death was not the work of common bandits or deserters, but knights of the recently dissolved Order of the Flaming Rose. Geralt realized the brethren who had killed Clivert were but part of a much larger contingent. To prevent any further such murders and fully avenge Clivert, he would have to find the knight's leader. The orders Geralt found on the knights he defeated not only shed light on their activities, they'd given up defending the defenseless and switched to brewing narcotics, but revealed the location of their hideout. Geralt decided to take a short break from monster hunting to pay their Grand Master a courtesy call. The Witcher and the Grand Master did not take a liking to each other. After a short talk about the Order's past and mission, they moved on to armed combat. This fight could clearly have only one outcome. Ulrich met the same fate as his infamous predecessor, Jacques de Aldersburg. With this, Geralt of Rivia, alias Puss Peepers, avenged Clivert and completed the task allotted him. He collected his promised reward and set off on his path. <laughs>